kind of a below the radar race, to be perfectly honest. Thank you all for being here. I know, as Chad said, we are in the dog days of summer, and I know there are many places you could be. I got into the race to protect the American dream. Um, I'm a product of that. My grandmother immigrated here from Mexico as a young girl, and so I believe in the power of that. I put myself through college at ASU, go Devils. I think I'm very much the person I am today because of how I grew up. I was so lucky to be raised by real salt-of-the-earth people. My nana immigrated here from Mexico when she was a young girl. My great-grandparents were migrant farm workers, and like so many, they looked um, to the United States for their chance at a better life. Being from a family of immigrants, being in a great country of immigrants, um, I am pro-legal immigration. But we also know that there are bad guys out there that want to bring drugs into the country or that are trafficking women or children or that want to do harm to our country. And so we need to make sure that we are doing everything we can to keep those folks out and welcome in the ones um, like my grandparents who are looking to build a better life. The diversity of this community, as distinct as the bogas of the Bronx, as beautiful as the blossoms of Miami, and as unique as the breakfast tacos here in San Antonio. I believe the Democratic Party absolutely takes Latino support for granted, and I think they've done that for a long time. What I couldn't believe is that that was actually a scripted moment, right? Like, people say things off the cuff and think, oh man, what a bonehead thing, but that had been scripted. Um, I think it's really unfortunate because obviously Latinos um, were so much, so much more than that. and. Um, I think, you know, things like that also show where the Democrat Party is losing the support of the Latino community because um, we're put into this box. I think this is going to be a huge wake-up call for them in November, if it hasn't been already, that um, they're not going to, uh, no one, Latino or otherwise, is just going to vote with the party because it's owed to the party. We have to fight every day to earn the support and votes of our constituents. I think the values uh, that certainly were in my family growing up, and I think with many um, Latino families of faith and family and freedom and entrepreneurship, which is huge in the Latino community, those are things that really um, resonate with me and I think are in alignment with the Republican Party. This is obviously my Charles Barkley bobblehead. Um, who is one of the greatest sons of all times. I've been blessed to have incredible experiences. I would say those are going to make me even better in Congress because what I've learned through those various experiences, how to bring people together. Probably the most fun um, thing I've done professionally was working for the Phoenix Suns as an executive. Um, as a kid growing up, I watched the Suns at the Madhouse on McDowell and so to then be part of that storied franchise and count some of the old legends as my, my coworkers, um, was really a lot of fun. But more importantly, I want to hear from all of you. I'm the only one in the primary that can beat Greg Stanton. Um, and that's what this is really all about. At the end of the day, we want to flip this seat in November, and I'm the candidate that can do it. From a policy standpoint, I think there are some pretty significant differences between myself and the incumbent. Um, I want secure borders. I want less spending. Um, I want to um, always have the backs of our law enforcement. These are things that he has not been a leader on in Congress, and I will be. That's what I'm going to be talking to the voters about. And I think what they're going to find is that um, they don't feel like things are going great, and they're going to be ready for a change. And I look forward to uh, delivering that.